The Demon Core is the popular name for a 6.2 kilogram sphere of plutonium that in 1945 and 1946 killed two physicists in eerily similar nuclear criticality accidents. Harry K. Doglian Jr. and Louis Slotin were both performing experiments to see how close they could bring this 6.2 kilogram sphere to criticality, to sustaining nuclear chain reactions, as would happen in a nuclear weapon or reactor. They both tickled the sleeping dragon's tail, however, and it ended up killing them both with invisible nuclear fire. The Demon Core is probably the best known criticality story there is, but today it's more than sordid nuclear history. It's end point of a joke, a meme. Why? Well, if you want to know the full story of the Demon Core, you can check out this video here. As to why the Demon Core is now a meme, this same video might just explain that. The story of the Demon Core first became widely available to the internet when Wikipedia author Read Write Services, or Richard, an autistic Australian electronics instructor, started the first Demon Core entry on August 14, 2007. Cross-referencing this with Google Trends at the same time, the Demon Core was now in public consciousness, but the first spike that would lead to memes would come much later. Six years after this first entry, in 2013, known Wikipedia adventurer Randall Monroe of the webcomic XKCD published this comic, citing the Demon Core as one of the scariest things with an equally scary name. This comic, and people searching for one of Randall's famously obscure finds, seems to have led to the first real spike in interest in the Demon Core. This comic was in fact where I first heard about the Demon Core, and perhaps where nuclear historian Alex Wellerstein did too. We both published popular articles about the Core shortly thereafter. I remember this distinctly as my first major essay as a science writer. Public interest from this point died down, but settled to a higher background rate than before the XKCD comic. Momentum was building, though not yet enough was in motion to enter the chaotic arena of memes. The first popular YouTube video on the Demon Core seems to have been by Quixer, published in the October of 2017. It didn't appear to make a dent in public consciousness, but it opened the door for more creators to come. The following month, Concerning Reality put their spin on the story. Now, it seemed that there was just enough of the Core's history available online that morbid curiosity mutated into comedy, as it often does. According to Know Your Meme, the first Demon Core meme came from a Japanese artist on April 4th, 2018, fan art of the Tohu character Anne Kumano, performing Louis Slotin's Deadly Demonstration. Shortly afterwards, other Japanese artists put more characters in the same situation, from a similar fan art of Tohu character Koakuma, to the idol master character Mirai Kusuga, to Girls und Panza's Rosehip. A few months after these first few memes, in the December of 2018, nuclear historian Alex Wellerstein again picked up on the renewed interest in the Demon Core with a popular tweet that no doubt made the memes more, well, memeable. Then, on March 13th, 2019, Demon Core Coon was born. Whatever he is, and garnered millions of views. Clearly, the core had evolved from an obscure accident known only to nuclear nerds to something less radioactive, for lack of a better term. At almost the same time, the Plainly Difficult YouTube channel published the first truly viral video of the Demon Core's history. With more than 10 million views combined, Demon Core Coon and Plainly Difficult appear to be directly responsible for the second spike of the Demon Core in popular culture. It had gone critical once again. By the end of 2019 and into 2020, this is where the popularity of the Demon Core stood. But, as you can see, the largest and most sustained spike and a huge influx of memes was yet to come. So what exactly happened right here? Do you know what you don't want becoming a meme? Your personal identity. Did you know that every 14 seconds someone on Earth becomes a victim of identity fraud? In 2020 alone, over 37 billion records were hacked. You know what won't get hacked? You, if you use Aura, the sponsor of today's video. 
Aura is an identity protection service that uses AI and machine learning to protect your identity online. Just tell Aura what you want monitored emails, phone numbers, social security accounts, bank accounts, and it will scour the dark web, data brokers, and public records for any criminal activity and notify you instantaneously. With integrated VPN and antivirus protection, no one is going to find your account and use it for V-Bucks. You need digital identity protection. That's what you'll get if you go to aura.com forward slash Kyle Hill or go into the link in the description of this video right now and get a free two week trial. <laughs> nope, they're not getting another Spider-Man skin. Try Aura today. What happened to public interest in the Demon Core in late 2020 is where I come in, or at least I think I do. At the time I'm publishing this video, my video about the Demon Core's history and physics is the single most viewed video of that kind in the world. Now I'm not trying to brag, I'm just trying to figure out where these memes come from. And if you take the exact date of publishing my video and overlay it with a measure of public interest like Google Trends, you see that it aligns perfectly with the third largest and most sustained spike. Public interest has never returned to pre that video levels. I believe that I may be at the end point of a long line of Wikipedia authors, comic book artists, nuclear historians, and content creators that have made the Demon Core much more than an oddity. Demon Core memes are then partially my fault. But this timeline still does not explain why the Demon Core itself is at the center of memes, and specifically memes with anime girls? which seem to be most of them? Well, I think it's a combination of three factors. First, the internet loves stories of seemingly cursed places, people, and objects. Like another nuclear object, the famous elephant's foot, the Demon Core criticality accidents were genuinely terrifying events, and not many people knew about them just a few years ago. So there is an if you know, you know aspect of the core story that allows memers and sharers of memes to communicate that they are nerdy enough to know about this obscure sciencey thing. And on the internet, that's actually worth something. Second, all of the first memes with the demon core aren't random mutations of the story. They share something specific with it. Each include anime girls with canonically naive, reckless, and or quote, dense personalities. According to their source materials, Kumano here is described as kind and simple. Koakuma has a without a second thought personality. Kasuga is not the smartest girl who always speaks before thinking. And Rosehip does everything as fast as possible, never restraining herself. These specific personality traits actually mirror a major feature of what makes the story of the Demon Core so interesting. In real life, it was the recklessness of both Doglian and Slotin performing dangerous tests either alone and or irresponsibly that killed them. And finally, these two factors combine into a third kind of meta factor, where if you know what the Demon Core actually was, you know the personalities of these characters and you know the extreme situation they are in, then the meme amplifies the naive, cute, and or funny aspects of popular anime characters. <laughs> Look at her. She doesn't even know she's about to be fatally irradiated. <laughs> That's so Kumano. <laughs> uh. All jokes aside, I think there is something interesting and unique going on here. I mean, it's a 70-year-old obscure nuclear artifact being used to at the same time make you feel in the know on the internet and to caricature popular anime characters? I've thought more seriously about the Demon Core than probably anyone you know, and even I'm getting in on the memory. I 3D printed the apparatus that Louis Slotin was using when he died. Why do I have that? Isn't that kind of... Morbid? Disrespectful? Why do I have a wizard pondering his orb, but the orb is the demon core? Why, why do I need these things? Well, I think this video may have answered that. Until next time. 
Thank you so much to the very nerdy staff at the facility for the direct and substantial support in the creation of this here video. If you want to join me at the facility, if you want to drape on a silky white lab coat, join the members only discord, see photos and behind the scenes videos, get videos early, have private members only live streams with me once a month. Oh, not like that, Johnny. You can go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill and join the facility today. And hey, if you support us just enough, you get your name on every single video with Aria here. Isn't that amazing? Hundreds and hundreds of you have already, how am I gonna pass the time while all this happens? Do you know what's really interesting? The story of the Demon Core is not over. Now, when I originally made the video and wrote my essay all the way back in 2013, 2014, I thought I knew the end point of the Demon Core, what happened to the actual object after it killed Harry Doglian Jr. and Louis Slotin. But on my most recent trip to Chernobyl, I spoke with a scientist and I told her the story of the Demon Core and what, how I ended it. And she said, oh, interesting. Implying that the end of the Demon Core is not public knowledge. And I might not ever be able to find out or tell you legally. The legend lives on. Thanks for watching, but seriously don't ask. I can't tell you they'll shoot me. <laughs>